Hello, St. Thomas of Beckett. Earlier this week, I was on a conference call with fellow clergy and colleagues, and Bishop Andrew asked a question of us. He said, what is something you've learned about yourself through this experience? And what is a Bible verse that's kept you going and encouraged you? Well, one thing I've learned about myself through this experience is that I'm not always happy with the norm. I like new things. I like to test myself, to try myself. I like to learn new things. And so interestingly, this time of COVID has forced me to experience and to learn new ways of sharing the gospel, of sharing the message of Jesus Christ. And one of those, of course, is through video. It's a strange new world, but it's something I've learned, something I've embraced. The Bible verse that's kept me going is from Isaiah 41.10. And it says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In fact, this Bible verse has encouraged me in many different times in my life. It's a call for me not to fear, but to walk out in faith. It's a call that God is with me always, a reminder. And it's a statement that is God's power that upholds me and keeps me strong so that I can dare, I can trust, I can take a step out, because God is there. And yet in this time of COVID, I'm also tempted, I'm tempted to doubt, I'm tempted to question. And as I was preparing for my sermon this week, I came across Psalm 142. It says, I cry aloud to the Lord. I lift up my voice to the Lord for mercy. I pour out my complaint before him. Before him, I tell my trouble. When my spirit grows faint within me, it is you who know my way. In the path where I walk, men have hidden a snare for me. Look to my right and see, no one is concerned for me. I have no refuge, no one cares for my life. I cry to you, O Lord. I say you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry, for I am in desperate need. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are too strong for me. Set me free from my prison, that I may praise your name. Then the righteous will gather about me because of your goodness to me. I wanted to share this reading with you because in it, there are seeds or statements of doubt. Questions of God, where are you? I'm struggling, I'm having difficulty. And yet we as Christians can hold these two verses in tension with one another. Both are true in our life. Because we can have faith and trust in who God is and what he has done in our life and what he will do. As well as question. As well as have moments of doubt and say, God, where are you? I don't see you anywhere. We as Christians are allowed to doubt. We are allowed to question. That's not a statement or a sin. That's not a, a declaration to God. God, I don't trust you. I don't love you. It's a statement recognizing our own frailty and our need for God. So wherever you are, as you go through this time of COVID, I want you to be assured that we as the community of God are with you. If you look to your left and look to your right and see yourself alone, maybe quite truly living alone in this time, just know that you are not spiritually alone that your church family is with you. We love you. We are praying for you. And we look forward to the day where we can praise and worship together again, where we can celebrate things like birthdays and anniversaries, and where we can celebrate simple things like Christmas and Easter. Simple things, but truly profound. We as Christians are called to walk a life of faith. And it reminds me of... Uh, the role in the circus of the trapeze artist who hangs on the bar and swings back and forth far above the ground. And to most, this single aspect would be terrifying. And yet this great person of faith, of trust, does something even more profound. At some point, they let go of that bar that they're safe on and they soar through the air. And they soar through the air, trusting in another person that somebody else will be there to catch them. Somebody will have timed things just perfectly 
somebody would have done their job with them in mind. See, our trust in our relationship, our faith in God is this. is that God loves us. And that whatever is going on with us, as we let go, as we swing out, as we reach for God, God will be there to grab a hold of us. Do you think that no trapeze artist has ever questioned or wondered, what if the other person isn't there to catch me? No, they've thought about it. And that's what doubt is. But do they still let go of that bar? Do they still risk? Do they still reach? And the answer is yes. And that's what we're called to as Christians. Despite the doubt. To let go and reach out anyway. During this time of COVID, we need these verses that are mantras to us. Encouragements, inspiring statements. That God is there with us. But it's also okay for us as individuals to question and to say, God, I love you and I've believed in you in the past, but where are you? It's okay to be in that position also. In the end, the reading from Psalm says this, Then the righteous will gather about me because of your goodness to me. The Psalm ends as a statement, a declaration of God's goodness. And not God's goodness alone, but rather also the family of God. All of us, he's drawn to his side. We will all be together celebrating and worshiping. For we are not alone. We are together as a family. You, me, all of us. So wherever you are today, I just want you to know that whatever you're going through, whether you have let go of the bar just now, or whether you've just grabbed a hold of the hands of God, or whether you feel him lifting you up right now, whether you're looking around saying, God, where are you? Wherever you are, just know that you are loved and you're not alone. God bless you. May God keep you. May God make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God lift up his countenance upon you, and may God grant you his peace. Know that you are loved. God bless and take care this week.